Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. de hoy entre maestros y discípulos titulado Grandes Noticias del Cielo. El control galáctico fue totalmente desintegrado. Será presentado en chino con subtítulos en árabe, aulacense, también conocido como vietnamita, búlgaro, chino, inglés, francés, alemán, hindi, húngaro, indonesio, italiano, japonés, coreano, malayo, mongol. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una Maestra totalmente iluminada imparte el método Kuan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de transmigración. El método Kuan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los Maestros Iluminados, tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, y Guru Nanak. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros, y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos, comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la Tierra. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor, a los refugiados, los desamparados, las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. En el 2006 recibió el premio Gucci de la Paz, considerado el premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. Una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé, con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas, un tranquilo y glorioso mundo completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas viven en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Loving Hut, Supermaster Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no. Sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias titulada Grandes Noticias del Cielo. El control galáctico fue totalmente desintegrado. Dada en chino, el 1 de octubre de 2017 en Sihu, Taiwán también conocida como Formosa. Hello. Everybody good? Taja hao. Happy Moon Festival. 
，中秋节快乐，嗯。你们要做什么就做什么，就不要太过分就好了啊。OK， <笑>啊，有翻译吗 ？Do you have translation? Everybody has translation. Good. OK, so I'm here. You happy? <笑><笑> Sorry, I'm late again. 啊。哎，那个，对不起，我要再晚来了。<笑>我上个礼拜带你们会，会那个准时下来嘛？哎，又来了，又来了。每次，每次我要去看你们呢，什么障碍都碰出来了，懂不懂？同时了，同时了，了解吗？哎，同时了。比方说。嗯，四周围的那个望望住的人呐、啊，听不懂我讲什么呵呵，讲了好几次他不懂，还是弄错。还有很多事情呢、啊，新的视角把我东西放乱七八糟，我找不到呵呵，找不到，找不到那种该找的衣服了。听懂吗？你们知道我们女孩子啊，需要很多东西，好烦啊！我今天真的喜欢当一个男的。对呀、啊，你看呢，喜马拉雅的大师啊，他们很多出名的，还有一些国际出名啊，他们也不用穿衣服啊，有吗？哎呀，包一包那个叫什么毛巾，在这里就下来讲清了。哦，也有招商哎，不是说我不是黄的，你们看到哈有哈，哎，就不相信的话，买那些名师的书本看一看就知道了，哎。啊，包一包这样下去了，很简单。<笑>我装那么整齐漂亮，还有人批评我当女孩子真的很苦哈、啊。我同情哈、啊，你们同情我是吗？女孩子有吗？是吗？无聊。<笑> OK， 我还活着，很好了。谢谢大家来光临哈。哎，啊，平常我们都这样嘛。<笑>嘿、hey, ，我有一个好消息了，嗯，这个太好了。哎呀，忘记问问看能不能跟你们告诉啊，忘记了。哦，搞得搞得，哎，太忙太忙了。哦，啊，今天连狗也生病了，真实的，嗯，一说刚回来嘛，他还没有那个。适应了，就是今天刚好，这病更严重，本来好了，突然间今天的病很严重，啊，谢谢大家了啊，<笑>然后我一个人呢、啊，要交代很多事情啊，要叫他们找医生啊，找司机啊，找人啊等等，一个人真的有时候忙不过来，<笑>就是刚好需要时间的时候，懂不懂？刚好是。<笑>需要轻松快乐下来，跟你们准时那个结束搞什么那些啦，结果都好多事情要一个人处理，同时的，懂不懂？我讲不完了，就是现在跟你们说的话，恐怕你们不没办法想象那那种那种紧急的情况了。OK， 呀、yeah. ，还有我有一些那个啊。那边的消息也,也要自己查看看会不会很紧急的，懂不懂？哎，我也感觉到他们来的爱心嘛，懂不懂？从国外来啊，特别大陆同修、越南同修啊，他们很渴望啊。我知道他们会留到今天啦，不过我想下来跟他们讲几句，让他们看一眼。最少今天可以看哈 ，OK 吗？哎。那个，我就要求你们一样东西而已。我从来没要求你们对我做什么。我要求你们别当名士 ，OK？ 别别别别 ，No，No！ <笑> no, 我真的严肃的，不好玩，不好玩。哎，自己默默修行，一个人照顾自己就好了啊。如果真的想叫人的话，哎，几个就好了，懂不懂？古代的时候嘛，哎，三页数啊，十二个啊。然后释迦牟尼佛两千个
，那不一样。释迦牟尼佛是很轻松啊，大家自己互照顾的，懂不懂？他不用，不用动手，他不用盖道场，他也不用，呃，叫人家弄沙拉给。<笑>啊 ，by the way， did the food improve？ 哎，那个吃饭的比较好了吗？哎呦，我看每一次我下来吃都一样，差不多。所有教他们改变一点了 ，OK。不过没关系，如果你们来一天一次，一个礼拜近几天的话还好 ，OK。就是那些短住的要他们吃好一点，哎，因为他们住久一点嘛，有一些住一个礼拜、两个礼拜，吃不不够营养就不对了啊。意思说也不是营养的问题，要新鲜的沙拉啊、水果啊都有啊。哎，还有连这个也师傅也要照顾。那个浴室里面有没有放肥皂？有没有放 cream hand cream？ 有吗？哎，有时候你们忘记啊。我是懒得买，擦一擦。OK， 因为冬天呐、啊，风啊什么比较痛啊。不是爱漂亮，就是要保护自己呢。因为如果太干的话，它会痛啊，会会裂，那皮肤干会痛。不习惯的话受不了。OK， 都有吗？ OK， 教过滤谁有过滤了吗？不知道哈，会了会了，摸摸家后面做。然后那个，不过卫生纸不要用了 ，OK 哈，嗯、啊，妨害世界太多了。其实，其实那种啊，那种不看书也是也是会经过一些啊，清洗的过程，懂吗？他们要过滤啊，要。要弄干净了、啊，懂不懂？那个也是对我们世界非常污染的啊。OK， 然后那么多，哇、哦，热色要丢掉啊。OK， 我自己本人教你们什么，我就用什么的。OK， 不要说师傅口是心非，不是了啊。OK 哈，哎呀，好，我今天本来要找一个司机啊，帮我开车，就只有男孩子，女孩子没有。我不想再找男孩子了，把你们都那那那那 ，boyfriend， <笑> husband， 所以真的免了，懂不懂？就有时候免不了的才才用的，所以找的很困难才找到一个司机啊。她是一个女的 ，OK， 就看起来就就就三个女就对了。好了，那我要提醒你们，我已经老了，别胡思乱想了。OK， 我忙了之后，有时候三四点早上还没办法睡觉。然后白天继续忙，要打坐啊，就不打坐就不行了，因为里面是要照顾哈，里面要照顾，里面是很重要，因为很多消息是从里面下来，所以我等一下跟你们讲那个消息 ，OK？ 等一下最后一次，最后最后的，要提醒我 ，OK 啊？提醒我哈，我让你们等一下，呃，流口水啊，那么好消息要容易告诉你们啊，本来要卖票的哦。呵呵 OK， 我什么都免费，然后你们都习惯了啊，然后就嫌这个贵那个贵，贵就不要买 ，OK 哈，就不要批评啊啊，因为比方说有一些人说那个灯笼哈，我设计那些灯笼啊卖太贵了，我跟你们讲坦白，我问他们，他们说平手而已，没赚钱，<笑>因为做太慢了，懂吗？那个。熟悉太慢了，很多专业的人，这个做这个那个做不同的，不同的人才合成一个，懂不懂？不是像师傅在的时候，我什么一个人都可以弄。那师傅就这样嘛，啊，对不起了。所以他们真的平手的啊，你们不信就问他们 ，OK？ 有一些贵，有一些不贵，有一些这个那个，还有那个付钱给工人啊，了解吗？付税金啊等等，就赚不了钱了、啊，别。<笑>我在别的地方赚钱了，灯笼装不了了，就是艺术品嘛，然后让你们欣赏。你们如果喜欢就买，不喜欢就别批评啦，知道啦啊、哦、？OK， 很多东西可以买啊。我还有设计，哦，还有设计十二套那个那个天使啊，这不是为了要你们买的啦，我喜欢弄我就弄嘛，谁要就是就要不要没关系啊 ，OK。我喜欢啊，我喜欢，有时候喜欢那个创造一些东西啊，啊，嗯。不过他们到目前就弄一一套或是两套而已，是吗？还买十二套是吗？有没有？啊？第一套就是中道嘛，第二套有没有出来了？
啊 ，Yes or no？ 你看呢、啊？我设计已经几个月以前了，来来去去台湾好几次，还没设计完，没那么简单了。OK， 你们一转上去一秒而已，人家功劳很多。哎，还有一些什么我。我也不知道多少钱了，到目前没时间，我不管他了。你们买就买，不买就不买 ，OK 哈？我不管那些钱的东西啊，拜托，我不知道，我真不知道。到现在我就不知道一个灯笼卖多少，哪一个买多少，卖多少，哪一个电视品买多少，哪一套衣服买多少，我不知道，我不知道。我太忙了，我忙那边外面我的工作，了解吗？我日月不停的，就我不会管那些金钱钱的问题啊。都是同事管的 ，OK， 他们自己定价钱，自己看怎么样就怎么样啊。你们要的话，跟他们抱怨，不要跟师傅那个，让我太多负担了，听懂吗？连那个什么厕所浴室也要报告的师傅，这么多人能不能想办法弄啊？哈，什么都要师傅讲呢，还有饭菜也要我照顾。狗也要我的照顾，当然我狗啊，它这几天一回来就病了，走好几个国家没有病啊，一回来台湾几天就病了，病了一次病一次病，认为会好，结果不好，今天严重要去要去看那个兽医了，已经送走了。我这个我也要处理了，你要找人啊，因为我们刚回来，我以前在这边没养狗，不知道在哪里有好的那个医生啊。也是花时间呐、啊，懂吗？有时候打电话不通了、啊，要再打再打，你知道了。对不起，你打这个号码是空号。嗯<笑>，哎，再破。啊，都是这样。Sorry， you wrong number <笑>。Oh, sorry， this number is not in order。Sorry， sorry， sorry， sorry。我自己也要 sorry， 懂吗？我时间太少了啊。嗯、uh,。意思说，你们来越多，师傅时间越少，嗯。不过不能停了啊，不能停了，太可怜世界的众生了啊。意思说，一个人他无名的话，他会影响到别的，懂不懂？然后那个别的又影响到别的，然后都，就不是人类而已，就是连累到呃那个万物啊。哎，连树木也被伤害，小啊那个小动物那些无助的、无辜的也被伤害，所以看不惯了，没办法看得下去。我本来就看不下去了，就是夜障的时候要停一会这样子。不过停是是看起来外面停，我从来没停嘛，是吗？从来没停啊！如果不在台湾，就是在别的国家了。然后，如果不不看你们，就看别人了啊！不看同修，就看外面了。外面的人有一些事情要做，然后不照顾人类，就照顾动物啊。然后，即使不照顾你们，也是在别的地方有开示啊，你们也可以看啊。不然的话，也可打电话回来给那个常住的人，然后常住传给你们等等。我也从来没有忽略你们呢，是吗？有吗？啊？有觉得被忽略吗？没有。对了，这样这样有智慧了。<笑> OK， 上一次好几次了，一两次我跟你们说，人类啊，就被那个迷化嘛，被控制，灵魂跟那个头脑都被控制很厉害，所以人类都做很多疯癫的事情。不合逻辑的，你想想，你想想，你们现在已经所谓的开悟一点了，有吗？有觉得有开悟一点吗 ？Yes or no？ 怎么男男孩子又害羞 ？Yes or no？ 对啦，男孩子讲大声一点，讲那么小小，难怪被太太欺负，活该。嗯，<笑>哎呀，男孩子应该凶我一点啊啊！我做错也会被太太骂一声，对不起 ，sorry。<笑>你们想象，现在你们已经所谓的开悟了哈，你们能不能想象你自己本人啊，拿一个刀子来扎别人死的，能不能想象 ？Yes or no？ 会不会 ？No， 
，不会是吗？然后用章，那个那个章死别人，能不能？不能，能不能想象哦？今天要要计划做什么？那个为了那个敌人呐、啊，那个什么杀他们什么等等，能不能想象那样？ No 哈、啊、，Yes or no？No，、no. no. 我们没有办法了解吗？我们行了，行过来了。不过外面的人呢、啊，你们看电视啊，很多都有那种情况嘛，是不是？嗯，因为头脑被控制了。我讲过了，这个就是很。很简简单，不过很明白的一个迷路是吗？啊，如果我们没有被迷化，人类没有被迷化的话，怎么一个人呢、啊？头脑很清楚，没有喝醉酒什么的，就明明可以出去杀人的，了解吗？哎呀，然后杀不眨眼的，还有那个杀动物的。杀得很残忍的，我是虐待他们、折磨他们，不是说杀了而已。然后就我们都看不起那些动物的，说哇，只是动物而已，很低级。哪有这样？动物啊，他们如果饿的时候，再找一点东西吃。他找那个最弱小的、最弱的啊、呃，没有那个强壮的那个。那个能力可以生存多很很长，他就找那些在吃的。我们呢、啊，谁都杀，上天上飞也也降下来吃，底海底很很深也挖上来吃，啊，动物也吃，然后也会杀杀习惯了，杀习惯就不会觉得怎么样。啊、呃，昨天我有看到那个，嗯，呃，那个英国那边呢、啊，英国现在好好啊。英国，英国，你现在如果如果讲人家坏话，在在 Internet 啊，在网络上的话，你会罚到那个哦，好多钱哦，几几百万，一百多万的。然后，如果你现在那个。以前呢、啊，如果你虐待动物哈、啊，折磨动物的话，就六个月关了。现在变成五年关起来的。在在意大利好早以前就是这样了，不是罚款而已，就把你锁起来。哦，我真的很高兴快乐。<笑>这样才是文明的国家。文明国家不是有钱啊，有很多高楼啊，有大的车子啊，有多飞机啊，某某那些了，不是了，这样才是算文明国家。因为动物它有灵魂，它知道好坏啊，然后它知道那个中心啊，哎，它有时候为了那个情况啊，在在互相打架而已。那不是说随便出来呀、啊，无缘无故也去杀人啊！真的是被迷迷化太严重了，所以我又不能袖手了，不能这样袖手旁观了，没有不关我的事，不能这样想啊，了解吗？已经自己已经安全了，一说修行的方面安全了，就不能这样子放弃别人了，抛弃别人了。了解吗？哎，所以才那么辛苦、啊。我今天，我今天就什么都叫不动啊，很很累。我就说，我就跟那个旁边的人说，都是我错了，不不怪你们。如果我没有那么爱管闲事那么多的话，然后那个那个爱管世界事情的话，就根本不不需要你们那么操劳了。我自己本人也不用到你们。用不着你们，也不用那个那么操劳自己的。不过就不能听了，真的不能。我知道你们很疼爱我啦，我也非常非常疼爱你们，我也感谢你们修行，让世界更精华啦。嗯，在我背后拥护，不能帮忙直接帮忙也是修行，打坐。<笑>
，懂吗？这样子净化世界，最少照顾自己、跟家人啊、跟五代六七八代了、啊，懂吗？哎呀，有利益啊，<笑>不能帮助谁的话，最少帮助自己。那、啊、师傅也很感谢了啊，你们要尽量多修行 ，OK 呀、yeah, 啊，生杀都可以给别人的。像钱一样，我们钱多用不完，都可以给别人 ，OK， 都可以用。那么，啊，其实有时候看不到师傅，不不要太见怪 ，OK。我神嘛，我神自己的生命啊，改天就可以看你们，了解吗？啊，他、啊、等师傅，如果师傅再再生的话，要等很久啊，等他早逝当的父母啊。我是父，有一个人要愿意当我的父母啊，比方说这样啊，然后有没有缘分啊？然后那个业障有没有那个允许啊？然后天堂那个计划 OK 不 OK 啊？这个时代好不好？哇，等也许很久啊，也许有别的名字啦，不过嗯，不知道他们会不会那么卖命啦。<笑>可以啦，有名字的。你们如果不喜欢师傅，可以随便找别人啊，找别的名字，就是要相信他，要百分之百放心在他那里，要专心修行，听从他的指示。OK， 最少可以当第三届，上第三届。OK， 总比在地狱好。OK 哈，跟谁修行都会有利益的，主要就是他教你做好事啊，最少不好事也不要做坏事，懂吗？哎，然后要打坐啊，要相信上帝，相信佛祖，就会就会自己不会堕落了，不会被那个控制了啊。OK 哈，就会利益自己，利益别人，最少不会伤害到别人。任何名师叫你不伤害别的众生，就可以相信他了，最少不会伤害了，了解吗？嗯。在世界的话，不会杀地狱啊！在在天上看你的话，你就无罪的，他就不会罚你。OK 哈，哎，我不一定告诉你们，一定要跟着师傅了。那个你们你们已经印信了，当然有体验，相信师傅了。有一些等级太低的话，调来调去了。好，没关系，不跟我就跟别人了，就是要师叔，要专心，要诚恳啊，要解脱。就一定会找到好的，还有一些贵宾来没有？硬性的话不一定跟着，不一定要跟着师傅。你跟着谁？你喜欢，你喜欢他，你觉得有那个爱爱力啊，就你就跟着他就行了。因为你等级是这样子，勉强也不行，是吗？我从来也没勉强谁，叫你们也不要勉强嘛，反而不好，我有反感，听懂吗？哎。那么就是这样了，然后现在告诉你们一个好消息，然后你们就可以去吃饭了啊、呃！真的是我错了，下来很很晚，不过真的没有没有那个比较能干的帮手的人在旁边呢。那个肯急的时候，需要他的时候，时间不多的时候，他就开始混淆了，听懂吗？然后就没办法，就浪费时间，要自己真弄就好了，比较快。自己弄的话，这边五分钟，那边十分钟，那边两分钟，那边二十分钟，就时间过得很快，而且很多工作要做。今天早上要处理三个，三个消息。不过我我能够躺下来，或是坐下来才能够受到的。我到处奔波的话，就没办法。老妈有时候很累了，很累的躺下来睡，想睡一个，他就叫我醒过来了。啊，我说嗷嗷，喵，嗯，啊，这样子让我醒过来，就不那么不那么吵。你们如果在我旁边听不到任何了，也没有那么大声，跟外面的狗一样，不是不过很清楚了。你没办法，你没办法说，呃。意思不理他不行了，这很清楚。在那边的话，不能不理了啊！哎呀，所以我觉得哈，如果能够一天有三十个小时，就还比较好一点点，了解吗？哎，因为如果我每天吃饭睡觉哈，照顾狗的话，已经自己有自己煮饭，因为目前呢，我有时候。比较喜
吃不下嘛，就喜欢。比方说有一个人煮那个泰国菜啊，或是印度菜给我吃，就他们就说不行了、啊，不能吃那个人的菜。不能吃，那个人不能煮给你吃，这个人不能煮给你吃。我真的没人了、啊，我说那那我吃什么？我自己煮就好了。有时候太累了，我都想去吃饭，太累了就煮不下去啊。不过这个时代蛮方便啊，我也是很谢谢这个时代。有那些什么打包些像米呀糊那些啦，你们讲那有没有啊？里面什么都有啊。那个，而且这个时代也不用在那边辛苦弄那个木头，然后都在那边散了要死，然后吹了要死，那个滑起不来，然后整个房子都是蒙蒙都是那个烟啊，然后眼睛要掉眼泪，然后咳嗽，然后哭了半天才吃了吃了一碗那个罗汉菜什么的啊，而且也要走路很远才能够买菜，以前没车子啊。啊，我是骑马很辛苦，我是坐马车什么，不管什么人很辛苦就对了。我觉得现在现在我们当一个平民的人呢、啊，就比以前那个国王还要好多啊！啊我们平民的人呢，房子哦都很亮。等一下我会告诉那个消息，别别急了，<笑>我让你们饿坏一下。而且那我同情我一点呢、啊，因为我每天都饿，一天一餐有时候来不及吃了，懂不懂？啊，本来说过午什么不吃，我不知道过午是什么时间，<笑>了解吗？有时候知道，然后就忘了，因为那个文件来啊，啊要看呢啊,啊，然后要批啊，要很谨慎啊，因为对自己是没关系，你们知道了，即使你们普通的人，外面的话见什么要谨慎啊，是吗？哎呀，很很很麻烦啊，世界比较麻烦。不是我们复杂，世界复杂，然后就是这样浪费很多我们时间啊，按元气啊，也是很可怜的、啊。这是集中一个控制的这个办法，这是控制的办法。天堂没有这样，连那个低一点的天堂山阿修罗也不会这样，也会有名士在那里照顾你。如果你很坏，就被关起来一回。哎，连那个阿修罗是对。最低的一个天堂也不会这样啊，公司那么厉害，啊，不煮饭就不能吃。<笑>不过这个时代也是蛮不错，我现在想到了，还有一个办法就是那个汤啊，你以前听说师傅是汤嘛？为什么呢？哎，不能常常有时间煮那么大方了、啊，汤是最好的，懂吗？放水在里面，放一点米或是面条哈、啊。啊、哦，然后就扎扎扎什么东西丢进去就 OK 了啊！哎，汤我是米呀糊那些是很方便，对我现在生活非常感激啊。这个那种那个包好一包好在包里面的是很好了。既然对世界没有很很环保了，我也很抱歉了。我我情况没办法，就是这样子捡那个包，然后丢在热水里面摇一摇。不过今天我也是这样弄，不过吃不下，嗯，吃了一半完，然后就放在那里，又怕蚂蚁，还要照顾，又带到冰箱，怎么放进去啊？不过还好，这个时代有冰箱啊。OK， 呀、yeah, ，这个你们不管怎么样，还要感激的。OK， 还要感激，感激我们现在时代比较好，以前都住那个住山洞里面呢，要打猎才有东西吃，嗯。呃，然后我们已经进步一点，不用打猎了，就把动物关起来，然后慢慢一个一个吃，它也是很野蛮了。然后要买菜的话，要要自己种菜，如果有田园的话，然后如果没有的话，要自己买很远啊。哈，这个时代不用，连人家你要的话，人家带到你门口呢。台湾有没有这种啊？啊，连小的也会带来，哎，隔壁要带来，你要什么菜，你跟他讲。啊，很方便，嗯、啊，我这边就不方便，我不知道怎么描述我那个房子，那个山洞给他带来给我，我那个山洞是没有号码，在路前面没有什么名字，啊，连这个地方，连这个大地方也我不知道怎么描述啊，了解吗？哎呀，如果要，所以要出去的话，要要找人开车，嗯，不然我迷路，我没办法跟计程车讲我在哪里。然后一回来也不知道何况出去，我现在没办法记得了
不记得怎么走的，到那个下面最下面那那条岔路上来，那个走那边我就记得、欸，有时候还会迷呢，跑到另外隔壁去。不过，在这个地方范围就不会没的了，懂不懂？顶多都敲门，朝隔壁起来问他，找邻居就问他那个近海五上学那个地方，啊，谁都知道，除了我不知道，真的好丢脸。整个苗栗几乎都知道，好几次我回来，第三、第四次了，每次都靠那个你们那个。那个下面那个村人，或是乡人，或是邻人的，才知道怎么回家的。哎呀，因为我回来都是找计程车嘛，不麻烦大家。我回来时间不不平常啊，有时候很很晚啊，而且也不想麻烦啊，大家都很忙啊。他们住家人很忙啊，住家人越来越少，你们人越来越多，住我住家人越来越少啊。一个是被拐出去。一个都会说来来啊，然后另外一个说哥哥啊，我在这里啊等等，然后一个是另外一些是要去非洲啊，开饭馆啊，斗众生啊 ，OK， 那边很少人想去啊，不过那边很好啊，人很善良啊，我也很想去那边住，就是为你们绑在这里，然后一些是做那个。人民府工作啊，一些做 video 录音录音那些啦，他们要剪接啊，要准备好给你们看啊，还有一些要翻译啊，懂不懂？啊、呃，上字幕啊，一大堆啦，哎，很多很忙啊。然后师傅当然就不要说了啦，他每个人都有部门，我是什么部门都要管的，管一点这边一点那边啊。如果做那个 SMTV 的，我更忙。师傅要过滤啊，要看啊，有一些新闻他们弄不好啊，了解吗？所以整个都要看，嗯。他们呢，几百个人，每个人管不同的，我是每个团体管不同，师傅什么都要管，所以忙很忙啊，你们没办法想象了。OK， 我很忙，有时候很忙了、啊、就坐在桌上就不敢了，赶快跑了，因为坐桌上等一下倒下来了。我坐的话，我要靠近那个桌子，很靠近的啊，不不不随便坐那个外围什么在电风扇的，哎，万一掉下倒下来的话，还有那个桌子，然后他咔，啊，碰着你一声，在你那个智慧人那边你就醒过来了，啊，比方说你在椅子这样坐嘛，有没有？啊，你在办公桌就是高高嘛，有没有？如果你就倒下来，碰这样子就碰到你那个额头啊。碰到这你就醒过来了啊！最少最少就不会掉在地板了哦，这有出问题的，了解吗？我很聪明的、啊，嗯，别担心，很聪明。<笑>有时候，有时候我坐呢，我很聪明啊，跟你们讲啊，你们可以学习啊。嗯、啊，有时候坐在没有桌子嘛，坐在不同地方陪狗什么的，我是周围都放好很多坐垫啊，万一倒下来就。比较软，因为有时候会啊，太累就会了。你不知不觉了，你就倒了，嗯。然后有时候要看啊，要研究东西，就坐那里半天了，没有做什么，太累了。OK， 那我为什么讲这些事情忘记了？我我我我我我这边说，啊 ？Good news， 哦耶耶 ，OK。哎呀 ，so cheap, give it to you, huh? Hmm, you don't want to hear any other thing, huh? Okay, okay, good. Why not? 不过我还没讲什么，一半哈，没有哈。I I didn't say anything halfway, no. Do I have to finish, no? No. <laughs> Tell lie, huh? Okay, okay. 我告诉你们一个好消息。本来我第一次下来就很很累，不过很激动，告诉你们了。那一个哈，我们那些那个。天上的那个<咳>强壮的那些神啊，那些那些小上帝了啊，那些从伊奥斯克上面啊，额外一点了，他们就把那个世界的所有的那个那个那个控制的器官全部 smashed， that's what they are， 全部，因为我累了，我不想在那边忍辱了。我说好了，不管怎么样，业障就业障。我是，呃，福报就福，我管了，把全全全部全部破掉
，还有总结天什么人不好的话，送到别的地方去，送回家。嗯。<笑>送回自己那个地方了，给他们自己的那些国王的报告，失败了，失败了，对不起了，然后让他们国王惩罚他们，我们不用惩罚了，我们不惩罚谁，坏东西我们当然破掉。我重复那个英文的那个消息 ，OK？ 因为我，就，事实上是昨天晚上了啊,啊，我问他们。我交代事情有没有弄了？他就说有弄，这样英文就一字而已 ，lit， 意思说处理好了，嗯，中文就就讲那么多话的，<笑>我我就问 ，did you do what I ask？ did 这样的，然后，哎。怎么那懂英文了？嗯，哈哈哈。他写一个字，你我有写在我那个日记了，就是日记没带下来，也不用了。我跟你们讲就好了。很短呢，我跟你说。然后我问，呃，因为我怕我不懂，或是他们不懂，我说我问什么东西呀、啊？我就问，那 What did you do？ 你？说处理好了，你怎么处理？你们怎么处理？他就说 ，smashed all the machines， 呀、yeah. ，啊，还有，嗯 ，take care of all the bad， <笑> yeah， something like that， 啊，这样的 ，OK， 意思说他把全部那些机器啊，你们看不到的，我们看不到，全部。smash， 比如是说 smash， 比如是说全部弄打碎就对了，了解吗？打碎了啊，只有他们能够啊，连那个阿修罗神通那些三界以内、五界以下、五界以上没办法，嗯，所以啊，我觉得很重要，就是你们不是拍手而已，帮我谢谢那些从 e o s c u s 过去的那些神 ，OK 哈，嗯。每天以前啊，要谢谢最高的上帝，允许，还有谢谢他们帮我助手，嗯，我每天谢谢他们了、啊。不过小事情，今天真的大事情要谢谢，要请大家帮忙我一起谢谢的 ，OK， 嗯，为这个很大了，就很大，当然不会，不会有马上影响了，啊，不会，最少就是两个月以后了。才觉得那种影响 ，OK？ 那你们打坐会更轻松 ，OK？ 嗯、开悟的人的话，又会更开悟、更了解、更明确、明确东西。不开悟的人，就会慢慢醒过来，就会明白、了解吗？会更有道德。有一些当然很快就明白了，嗯，有一些就比较慢一点啊。不过不会像以前那么被控制，头抬不起来，然后做什么坏也自己不知道为什么，然后想逃避这个世界逃不了，因为四周围都被包围控制了，了解吗？走不出去。你即使你自杀的话，你也逃不了了。等一下，他把你抓回来，放在另外一个身体里面去。如果没有人身体的那个，那个时候如果找不到人的身体给你，他就把你放在动物身体里面。不管哪一个动物，不管哪一个人，不管怎么身体，他抓到他就放你在里面了，了解吗？哎，他让你看到很。灯很亮，很亮，然后你认为哦，那个是亮就不一定好，然后被吸到那边去，然后就变成跑胎了，或是在那个蛋里面，或是在父母肚子里面，不然的话在动物的肚子里面，等一下哇哇就生了，然后没有办法想到找什么名士的啦，你们是这些比较好运的、啊。
前世有修行有缘，或是有什么尊重一位名师，或是有帮助他某些地方，或是有相信他，也许没时间跟他印心，或是情况不妥、啊，或是还没想通，这次回来才能够这样那么相信一个啊修行的方法，诚心诚意这样修行，不然你看整个世界你们多少人啊？比较呢，几百千亿的人，你们很小数目，是吗？哎呀，有一些也想修行了，不过不够那个力量可以催你到那个比较好一点的名字，那催到那边而已。比方说车子不一样嘛，有一些车子它跑得很快，力量很强，比较贵，当然啊，哎，有一些。比较旧了，我是那个不怎么很出名的啊，那个。那个机器里面呢不很强啊，吹不上水啊，了解吗？哎，所以这样，我也觉得那个这个时候警察也不错了。以前呢、啊，我们有一个同修啊，好久以前他跟我说，那警察说：“哎呀，师傅啊，我们警察很辛苦。”我说：“怎么辛苦啊？你们比总统还要有权利啊！你们站在那里哈、啊，如果总统那个开车过度，你也可以开单给他的。”你不能找他的，<笑>哎呀，不管谁呀、啊，不管谁是大名大义什么的，如果超过那个法律，你可以关他，啊，在这个世界没有谁比你们有权利，还抱怨什么？我也怕你们哦，哎呀，<笑>然后他说不会的，师傅，那些坏人啊，他们很聪明啊，他很多人合起来头脑很聪明，一天到晚就想做坏而已嘛，所以很专，也是一种。打坐的很专心，这就为了想办法做坏的，懂不懂？所以他们头脑都就是就是很集中在那里，然后他们又做坏事，说很快就赚钱了。这为为了要要快赚钱，所以做坏事。做坏事的话就很多钱。然后到他们呢、啊，他们就那个开的 Mercedes 啊，师傅开很大的车、啊，然后还有自己直升机什么、啊。我们追不上，我们就有一龙。一楼，一楼，呃，走一走就，呃，啊，就追不上了，很可怜啊！我好气啊，是我还有摩托车，我怎么追得上他们？我说是啊，那那跟政府抱怨好了，叫他们买好一点车子给你们。不过平常是这样子啊，做好事的人呢、啊，没有预备好，是吗？哎呀，然后就就怪他们为什么工作做不好，了解吗？哎呀。嗯，为什么我不不够那个那个什么能力可以抓坏人等等？还要体谅到他们呢，是吗？坏人他们已经想到计划好了啊，政府啊那个警察都现在才知道了，了解吗？然后坏人的话，他计划都很清楚了，好了才做的，懂不懂？呃、啊，怎么走了，怎么逃啊？哪一个地方好的，哪一个地方不好，他都知道，都很很清楚了。然后还有很多那个。摩登的设备啊，啊，很，好最好的，懂吗？他们可以划得来，付得起。这警察的话就，政府给多少就多少啊，啊，一龙也要修来修去啊，<笑>摩托车也不怎么好东西。不过最好现在有那个直升机了啊 ，helicopter，helicopter， Helicopter, 所以他们有时候可以帮助。不过没有容易啊，不是每个地方，不是。有什么情动作又可以找那个那直升机啊？有时候他们不准呢、啊，一说上辈不准呢、啊，然后他们也是这样没办法。好了，知道了 ，OK， 好消息讲过了，你们每天要告诉 OK， 嗯，每天要那个诚心谢谢他们 OK， 帮忙我谢谢他们保护师傅到现在还平安，还有那个保护世界 OK。还有那个，那个呃，破坏那些控制的器官，嗯，器官也有器器，也有陷阱那些了啊。还有那个，有一些没有抓到了，不过他们早晚会抓到。抓到那些那个小的还好了 ，OK， 这个最大的那个很重要。还有有一些躲起来，躲在人类里面了。他抓人啊，比方说那些坏蛋啊。替他们那个坏的国王工作了，懂吗？那个天王啊，嗯，不过那些地整起了，嗯，太那个
固执了，太那个极端了啊！然后替他们工作嘛，即使他们不替他们工作也不行啊，他会把他处理掉，然后判到这里来，永久不能回去。所以他们只有两个选择了：被判在这里受苦受难，生生世世轮回；不然的话就回去被惩罚，然后。不然的话，继续听话工作，了解吗？嗯，啊，还有几个没抓到，不过会了，嗯，因为他们会躲在人生里面，所以有时候你们看，突然间某某些人突然间疯发疯哦，不是做什么坏事了、啊，因为他们的灵魂呢、啊，他们那个好的灵魂都被吹出去了，啊，他自己占那个那个身体啊，做坏，了解，所以你们有那个保护层，不要浪费哈 ，OK。疫情的时候，告诉你们怎么保护自己。二十四小时，记得要练成你睡觉，你也也自己弄的，那个那个自己也继续保护自己。而且如果是受五戒的话，当然都有天使保护了啊！就你们不要做坏，做做什么不对的话，当然天使会离开，他们没有权利可以保护你们，没有得到允许。OK， 好的人就可以保护的啊。那个记得，印心的时候说什么保护你们那个记得，不能忘记。OK， 嗯，宁可丢掉那个名誉什么钱财，不能丢那个。OK， 不然你们又被抓，然后就很难回来哦。因为那个已经好了，被抓的话，他们就知道你们不能再放你们了。了解我意思吗？哎，迷迷糊糊那些人的话，哎呀，很好控制了。就是你们的话不好啊，啊，他们知道了，就不好，不好，不好逃啊。就比方说，两国战争有没有？不是两国不和的，南北什么那个哈，然后一个北的，就那个比较控制性严重嘛，然后就就逃到南那边去，比较那边比较自由。比方说这样，逃好了又。莫名其妙跑跑到边界那边干嘛的？或是啊跑回来，呃，北那边偷偷跑回来，为了为了要拿自己什么，买起来那个什么宝藏，或是这叫找什么爱人什么的，就被抓到了。抓到那个人的话，政府北方政府不会饶他的。你了解了哈？哎，这个很明白吗？明白的一个笔录吗？ OK， 就知道照顾自己就好了。师傅没要求任何 ，OK， 就不要当名师而已。OK， 拜拜啦，再吃饭。啊，有很多都告自己互相互相分享哈。OK， 是吗？有吗？记得有中秋节吗？没有哦，吃好才是哈。哦哟，那吃好你们不来，那给那些短住的人吃。活该，<笑>好了，吃好你们不用来了啊，当然不用来啊，不是近几天怎么来？当然你们要来也可以啊，我没有说不能，就是你们不会来的。啊，拜拜哈 ，Thank you， 再见 ，I love you。chào các đồng chí bác hải chào các đồng chí ok <cười> mạnh giỏi <cười> the vietnamese uh, i know you are there i know ok i know you are there biết 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 đồng mấy đồng chí ở đó ok ở lại lâu phải không rồi mai về rồi hả à, xong ở lại ăn bánh trung thu ở à, lại một tháng tốt ok, okay. À, ok, mười, mười ngày. Ok, very good. Người nào ở lại được thì ở. À, mà cái giấy, uh, giấy gì đó? Chiếu kháng á, nếu mà hết hết hạn phải về nhé. Ở lại chứ bị bắt rồi mai mốt không qua được á. <cười> nếu mà chính phủ không bắt, tôi cũng bắt, tôi đem nạp vô cảnh sát. À. <cười> I say to the Vietnamese, because some of them say they want to stay and all this. I have to go tomorrow. I say, if your visa, you know, already up, you must go. Otherwise, if the the government cut you, you cannot come back. Huh? 
And if the government don't catch you, I will. I catch you, <laughs> and I give to the police down the mountain. It's very near the police station. Very near. You don't think you can <laughs> do anything, <laughs> okay? Uh, the police very near. It's only down the mountain. What? Oh, thank you. I try to look good, so so you're not fed up and go find another woman somewhere. <laughs> okay. Mm. I do many things just for you. It's uh, more pleasant to look at the nice clothes and, uh, you know, painted face. <laughs> more pleasant, more pleasant for you. Mm. Good view. Bye bye, la. Ah. Uh. Mm. Okay. 大家照顾. Mm. <laughs> Take care. I see you as soon as I can. Mm. 如果你们试好来,我再一会儿会下来看, OK? Yeah. Les agradecemos por su presencia hoy en Entre Maestro y Discípulos. Por favor, siga sintonizados a Supreme Master Television para ver del sagrado Kitab e Akdas de la fe Bahá'í, párrafo 141-163, que la providencia llene sus vidas con paz, amor y armonía. Para más detalles, por favor, visite www.suprememastertv.com barra bmd. for a better life. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Ever wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous earth. All of which house, nourish, and protect every being under their loving care, without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. 
May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home. Greetings, friends. I'm Yasmin, representing my beckoning homeland of Kota Kinabalu. Marvelous Malaysia wants you to know that you are more valuable than any precious jewels. Tina Koto means greetings to you in Maori. My name is Mana Aki. And I am one of the shining Maori people from New Zealand. We send you our best wishes that all embrace their interconnectedness. Thank you for your company today on Noteworthy News. Positive news for a benevolent world. Positive news for a charitable world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, China provides aid to Mexico after earthquake. Chilean President Michel Bachelet announces bill to ban plastic bags. Flying taxis are coming to Dubai. Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa connects homeless individuals with loved ones. And United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. In the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association news from the United States. On August 26, 2017, the state of Texas in the United States was battered by Hurricane Harvey, the strongest hurricane in the last 13 years. The continuous storm triggered unprecedented flooding with major disaster declarations in 30 counties where more than 30,000 people had to seek shelter in stadiums, churches, schools and other buildings that were designated for people to stay safely. Approximately 100,000 homes were affected in Houston alone, and at least 39 people have lost their lives. Upon learning of the devastating situation, Supreme Master Ching Hai immediately provided a 21,000 US dollar fund, and our Houston Association members, following Master's instruction to render aid, formed a relief team to help anyone we could. From August 29th to 31st, our association members collaborated with local Harris County officials and many other civilian groups to rescue residents who live northwest of Houston Harris County. Together, we helped rescue over 300 families and their animal companions in this area. For the displaced families in shelters, our association members prepared 1,000 vegan meals. Our relief team members thank God for keeping them safe and protected so they could help those in need. In the face of such a calamity, Houstonians and American citizens showed the spirit of unity, courage and love in action. May heaven bring comfort to all these afflicted victims. China donates US 8.5 million to help Mexico recover and rebuild after earthquake. In the aftermath of Mexico's 7.1 magnitude earthquake, the government of China has provided US 8.5 million in emergency humanitarian aid. 
This includes US $1 million in cash for rescue efforts and building reconstruction, while the remaining US $7.5 million goes towards emergency relief supplies, including tents and foldable beds. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Liu Kang stated, China believes that the Mexican people can overcome the disaster and rebuild their lives. Our sincere gratitude, Chinese government, for your timely and caring assistance. May God bless the people of Mexico with safety and a speedy recovery. Up next, Chile is planning to ban plastic bags in coastal cities. We'll sit in the yard for a while and get some fresh air. Be right back. More responsible news when we return on Supreme Master Television. Factory farms, a critical pollution problem. One factory farm creates more pollution than Houston, the fourth largest city in the United States of America. Factory farm waste contaminates streams, rivers, and lakes, pollutes water supplies, releases noxious gases into the air, causes respiratory illness and other health problems. Over 907 million tons produced annually in the United States alone. We have to have our eyes Impact wide open as prices. Very destructive. I know that some of my colleagues and others have quoted. A U.S. government accountability report found that one single factory farm produces 1.6 million tons of waste each year, more than is produced by the city of Houston, Texas. Save our water. Save our air. Save our planet. Be veg, go green, to save the planet. For more urgent details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash SOS. friendly tip on how to waterproof your canvas shoes. Simply rub an unscented white candle over the canvas surface of your shoes and then use a hair dryer to melt the wax into your shoes. And there you have it. Be it rain or snow, you'll now have a pair of comfy sneakers to keep your feet warm and dry. Love you so much for being veg and going green to save the planet for all co-inhabitants. Thanks for watching. And now, let's see the weather in some cities around the world.
Chile to ban plastic bags in all coastal cities. During the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, USA, Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announced a new bill to prohibit the use of plastic bags in all of the country's coastal cities within the next 12 months. Once the bill passes, businesses in these cities could face a penalty of 300 US dollars if found using or distributing plastic bags. President Bachelet said, This means we will be the first country in the Americas to implement this kind of law, and we urge other countries to take on this responsibility. President Bachelet also proposed government-organized beach cleanups during popular vacation times. A big green thank you, Your Excellency Michelle Bachelet and Chile, for your earth-loving measures. We wish you much success in restoring a pristine environment for the benefit of all citizens and animal co-inhabitants. Dubai stages test flight of driverless flying taxis. In a bid to become the world's first city to offer a drone taxi service, Dubai successfully launched the Air Taxi prototype in a ceremony inaugurated by the Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The flying vehicle, developed by the German-based company Volocopter, resembles a two-seated helicopter with 18 propellers, operates using vertical takeoff and landing, and includes safety measures of backup batteries, spare rotors, and even parachutes. The craft will be able to fly for 30 minutes at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour. Passengers would be able to book the taxi via an app that would track the nearest one available. The taxi would then autonomously collect and take the individuals to their destination. It's breathtakingly awesome, Volocopter, and congratulations, Dubai, for being a leader in innovation, showcasing the future possibilities of urban transportation. May your ideas inspire creative advances in environmentally friendly technology for a greener world. Ahead on Noteworthy News, United Kingdom Library gathering poems from rare languages. We'll go for a quick bicycle ride around the park. We'll return with more righteous news in just a moment. Write the power. Let your civic leaders and representatives know the polar bears aren't the only ones skating on thin ice. Find their mailing addresses at www.congress.org. Answer the call. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, caring news for a love-filled world. South African shelter connects homeless individuals with loved ones and family. The Haven Night Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa, creates opportunities for those living on the streets by reconnecting them with their family and society. Since 1978, the non-profit organization has helped many homeless men and women improve their lives by providing temporary shelter and physical care. Essential services to support social well-being and family reunification are also made available. For example, the shelter staff works to locate the individual's family, make travel arrangements, see them to the bus or train station, and ensure they arrive safely. As part of encouraging people to take on responsibility, the organization requests all unemployed members to pay 12 South African rand, approximately 90 US cents per day for the services, or help out at the shelter to earn their stay. Our accolades Haven Night Shelter for extending your warm helping hand to our South African brethren in need. May God bless all people with secure, joyful, and fulfilling lives. United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. The UK's National Poetry Library initiated a project of gathering poems in the thousands of languages that are at risk of disappearing. The language preservation endeavour is relying on the global community to send poetry in as many languages as possible with the intention of maintaining poetic traditions for the future generations. 
The project has been conducted with researchers from London's SOAS University, School of Oriental and African Studies, with the goal of receiving at least one poem in each language. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has estimated that more than half of the 7,000 languages of the world are on the verge of disappearing. Iraqi poet Nanib Lamassu, who was helping to collect and safeguard the poetry of Iraqi Assyrian refugees, said, Imagine walking into a botanical garden and seeing just one flower. This is what makes the world beautiful, this diversity in language and culture and religion. Our thankfulness to the National Poetry Library and SOAS University researchers for your dedication to preserving the richness of languages. May we all live in appreciation of the wondrous world around us. Now let's listen to a joke entitled Train Schedule. Said to a railroad engineer, What's the use of having a train schedule if the trains are always late? The reply from the railroad engineer, How would we know they were late if we didn't have a schedule? <laughs> We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Noteworthy News. May celestial love and wisdom be your faithful guides. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. It's the only planet known to sustain life. The only one whose atmosphere has been regulated by nature to create the perfect balance. But today the Earth is warming and nature's not doing it. Fortunately, all of us know someone who has the power to do something. Today's words of wisdom will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Thai. Splendid viewers! Welcome to today's Words of Wisdom. I am Muktnaram from Lambata, in the land of eternal blue sky. Mongolia wishes you all wellness and joy. Today, we will share with you the spiritual teaching of the Baha'i faith. Baha'u'llah was the teacher and the founder of the Baha'i faith. He and his teachings are believed to be prophesied in Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and other religions. Baha'u'llah was born in 1817 in Tehran, Persia, in present-day Iran. The word Baha means glory or splendor. The Baha'i faith rests on three core principles, unity of God, unity of religion, and unity of humankind. Approximately seven million people today in many countries adhere to the Baha'i faith. Their scriptures are translated into 800 languages and there are houses of worship in just about every corner of the world. Baha'i principles envision an ideal society. There are gender equality, elimination of all forms of prejudice, whether religious, racial, class, or national, harmony of religion and science, universal opportunity of education for all, a universal auxiliary language which all humanity can use to cooperate quickly with one another, a judicious world government, and the elimination of extremes of wealth and poverty. Many people 
like the Baha'i followers, see a noble society as a real goal to be pursued in everyday life. Today we present the sage wisdom of Baha'u'llah with an excerpt from the holy book Kitab i Aqdas. The Kitab i Aqdas. Say, by the righteousness of God, I verily am his best beloved. And at this moment, he listens to these verses descending from the heaven of revelation and bewaileth the wrongs ye have committed in these days. Fear God and join us with the aggressor. Say, O people, should ye choose to disbelieve in him, refrain at least from rising up against him. By God, sufficient are the hosts of tyranny that are leaked against him. Verily, he revealed certain laws so that in this dispensation, the pen of the Most High might have no need to move in aught but the glorification of his own transcendent station and his most effulgent beauty. Since, however, we have wished to evidence our bounty unto you, we have, through the power of truth, set forth these laws with clarity and mitigated what we desire you to observe. He verily is the munificent, the generous. He has previously made known unto you that which would be uttered by this day spring of divine wisdom. He said, and he speaketh the truth. He is the one who will under all conditions proclaim, verily, there is none other God besides me, the one, the incomparable, the omniscient, the all-informed. This is a station which God hath assigned exclusively to this sublime, this unique and wondrous revelation. This is a token of his bounteous favor, if ye be of them who comprehend, and the sign of his irresistible decree. This is his most great name, his most exalted word, and the dayspring of his most excellent titus, if ye could understand. Nay more, through him every fountain head every dawn and place of divine guidance is made manifest. Reflect, O people, on that which hath been sent down in truth, ponder thereon, and be not of the transgressors. Consort with all religions with amity and concord, that they may inhale from you the sweet fragrance of God. Beware lest amidst men the flame of foolish ignorance overpower you. All things proceed from God, and unto him they return. He is the source of all things, and in him all things are ended. Take heed that ye enter no house in the absence of its owner, except with his permission. Comport yourself with propriety under all conditions, and be not numbered with the wayward. All have been enjoined to earn a living, and as for those who are incapable of doing so, it is incumbent on the deputies of God and on the wealthy to make adequate provision for them. Keep ye the statutes and commitments of God. Nay, guard them as ye would your very eyes and be not of those who suffer grievous loss. Ye have been forbidden in the book of God to engage in contention and conflict, to strike another or to commit similar acts whereby hearts and souls may be saddened. Wish not for others, but ye wish not for yourselves. Fear God, and be not of the prideful. Ye are all created out of water, and unto dust shall ye return. Reflect upon the end that awaiteth you, and walk not in the ways of the oppressor. Give ear unto the verses of God, which he who is the sacred law tree recited unto you. They are assuredly the infallible balance established by God, the Lord of this world and the next. Through them the soul of man is caused to wing its flight towards the dayspring of revelation and the heart of every true believer is suffused with light. Such are the laws which God hath enjoined upon you, such is commandments prescribed unto you in his holy tablet. Obey them with joy and gladness. For this is best for you that ye but know Recite ye the verses of God every morn and eventide. Whoso faileth to recite them hath not been faithful to the covenant 
of God and His testament. And whoso turneth away from these holy verses in this day is of those who throughout eternity have turned away from God. Fear ye God, O my servants, one and all. Pride not yourselves on much reading of the verses or on a multitude of pious acts by night and day. For were a man to read a single verse with joy and radiance, it would be better for him than to read with lassitude all the holy books of God, the help in peril, the self-subsisting. Read yet the sacred verses in such measure that ye be not overcome by languor and despondency. Lay not upon your souls that which will weary the man, weigh them down, but rather what will lighten and uplift them, so that they may soar on the wings of the divine verses towards the dawning place of his manifest signs. This will draw you nearer to God, did ye but comprehend. Teach your children the verses revealed from the heaven of majesty and power, so that in most melodious tones they may recite the tablets of the All-Merciful in the alcoves within the mashrik e at Kars. Whoever hath been transported by the rapture born of adoration for my name, the most compassionate, will recite the verses of God in such ways as to captivate the hearts of those yet wrapped in slumber. Well is it with him who hath quaffed the mystic wine of everlasting life from the utterance of his merciful Lord in my name a name through which every lofty and majestic mountain hath been reduced to dust. Ye have been enjoined to renew the furnishings of your homes after the passing of each nineteen years. Thus hath it been ordained by one who is omniscient and all-perceiving. He verily is desirous of refinement, both for you yourselves and for all that ye possess. Lay not aside the fear of God, and be not of the negligent, Whoso findeth that his means are insufficient to this purpose hath been excused by God. The ever forgiving, the most bounteous. Should anyone wax angry with you, respond to him with gentleness. And should anyone upbraid you, forbear to upbraid him in return, but leave him to himself, and put your trust in God, the omnipotent avenger, the Lord of might and justice. Ye have been prohibited from making use of pulpits. Whoso wishes to recite unto you the verses of his Lord, let him sit on a chair placed upon a dais, that he may make mention of God, his Lord, and the Lord of all mankind. It is pleasing to God that ye should sit yourselves on chairs and benches as a mark of honor for the love ye bear for him and for the manifestation of his glorious and resplendent cause. Gambling and the use of opium have been forbidden unto you. Eschew them both, O people, and be not of those who transgress. Beware of using any substance that induceth sluggishness and torpor in the human temple and inflicteth harm upon the body. We verily desire for you not save what shall profit you and to this bear witness all created things, had ye but ears to hear. Whensoever ye be invited to a banquet or festive occasion, respond with joy and gladness, and whoever fulfilleth his promise will be safe from reproof. This is a day on which each of God's wise decrees hath been expounded. Behold, the mystery of great reversal in the sign of the Sovereign, hath now been made manifest. Well is it with him whom God hath aided to recognize the six, raised up by virtue of this upright Aleph. He verily is of those whose faith is true. How many the outwardly pious who have turned away, and how many the wayward who have drawn nigh, exclaiming, All praise be to thee, O thou, the desire of the worlds. In truth, it is in the hand of God to give what he willeth to whomsoever he willeth, and to withhold what he pleaseth from whomsoever he may wish. He knoweth the inner secrets of the heart and the meaning hidden in a mocker's wink. How many an embodiment of heedlessness who came unto us with purity of heart have we established upon the seat of our acceptance, 
and how many an exponent of wisdom have we in all justice consigned to the fire? We are in truth the one to judge. He it is who is the manifestation of God doeth whatsoever he pleaseth, and abideth upon the throne of He ordineth whatsoever he chooseth. Blessed is the one who discovers the fragrance of inner meanings from the traces of this pen through whose movement the breezes of God are wafted over the entire creation, and through whose stillness the very essence of tranquility appears in the realm of being. Glorified be the All-Merciful, the revealer of so inestimable a bounty. Say, because he bore the injustice, justice hath appeared on earth, and because he accepted abasement, the majesty of God has shone forth amidst mankind. Let there be not in your dominion, of which sound and their bright minds would disapprove, and make not yourselves in playthings of the ignorant. Well is it with him who hath adorned himself with the vesture of seemly conduct and the praiseworthy character. He is assuredly reckoned with those who aid their Lord through distinctive and outstanding deeds. Promote the development of the cities of God and His countries, and glorify Him therein the joyous accents of His well-favored ones. In truth, the hearts of men are edified through the power of the tongue, even as houses and cities are built up by the hand and other means. We have assigned to every end a means for its accomplishment. Avail yourselves thereof, and place your trust and confidence in God, the omniscient, the all-wise. Blessed is the man that hath acknowledged his belief in God and his signs, and recognized that he shall not be asked of his doings. Such a recognition hath been made by God the ornament of every belief and its very foundation. Upon it must depend the acceptance of every goodly deed. Fasten your eyes upon it, that happily the whisperings of the rebellious may not cause you to sleep. Were he to decree as lawful the thing which from time immemorial had been forbidden, and forbid that which had, at all times, been regarded as lawful, to none is given the right to question his authority. Whoso will hesitate, though it be for less than a moment, should be regarded as a transgressor. Whoso hath not recognized the sublime and fundamental verity, and hath failed to attain this most exalted station, the winds of doubt will agitate him, and the sayings of the infidels will distract his soul. He that hath acknowledged this principle will be endowed with the most perfect constancy. All honor to this all-glorious station, the remembrance of which adorneth every exalted tablet. Such is the teaching which God bestoweth on you, a teaching that will deliver you from all manner of doubt and perplexity and enable you to attain unto salvation in both this world and in the next. He verily is the ever-forgiving, the most bountiful. He it is who hath sent forth the messengers and sent down the books to proclaim, There is none other God but me the Almighty, the All-Wise. Thank you for joining us today for Words of Wisdom here on Supreme Master Television. Uplifting Literature The Hidden Life of Trees What they feel, how they communicate Discoveries from a Sacred World is up next. May the Providence endow your life with nobility, love and peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash w-o-w I'm Pamela Anderson Lee with PETA. You might not think about it every time you get dressed, but every time you put on a pair of shoes, a belt, or a pair of gloves, chances are you're wearing leather. 
And out of all the things that animals are abused for, leather is the most common. To learn how you can help, call PETA. Thank you. All your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Ever wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous earth. All of which house, nourish, and protect every being under their loving care, without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home. Greetings, friends. I'm Yasmin, representing my beckoning homeland of Kota Kinabalu. Marvelous Malaysia wants you to know that you are more valuable than any precious jewels. Tina Koto means greetings to you in Maldi. My name is Manaaki and I am one of the shining Māori people from New Zealand. We send you our best wishes that all embrace their interconnectedness. Thank you for your company today on Noteworthy News. Positive news for a benevolent world. Positive news for a charitable world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, China provides aid to Mexico after earthquake. Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announces bill to ban plastic bags. Flying taxis are coming to Dubai. Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa connects homeless individuals with loved ones. And United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. All these and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. In the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association news from the United States. On August 26, 2017, the state of Texas in the United States was battered by Hurricane Harvey, the strongest hurricane in the last 13 years. The continuous storm triggered unprecedented flooding with major disaster declarations in 30 counties where more than 30,000 people had to seek shelter in stadiums, churches, schools and other buildings that were designated for people to stay safely. Approximately 100,000 homes were affected in Houston alone, and at least 39 people have lost their lives. Upon learning of the devastating situation, Supreme Master Ching Hai immediately provided 
a 21,000 US dollar fund and our Houston Association members following master's instruction to render aid formed a relief team to help anyone we could. From August 29th to 31st, our association members collaborated with local Harris County officials and many other civilian groups to rescue residents who live northwest of Houston, Harris County. Together, we helped rescue over 300 families and their animal companions in this area. For the displaced families in shelters, our association members prepared 1,000 vegan meals. Our relief team members thank God for keeping them safe and protected so they could help those in need. In the face of such a calamity, Houstonians and American citizens showed the spirit of unity, courage and love in action. May heaven bring comfort to all these afflicted victims. China donates U.S. $8.5 million to help Mexico recover and rebuild after earthquake. In the aftermath of Mexico's 7.1 magnitude earthquake, the government of China has provided U.S. $8.5 million in emergency humanitarian aid. This includes U.S. $1 million in cash for rescue efforts and building reconstruction, while the remaining U.S. $7.5 million goes towards emergency relief supplies, including tents and foldable beds. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Liu Kang stated, China believes that the Mexican people can overcome the disaster and rebuild their lives. Our sincere gratitude, Chinese government, for your timely and caring assistance. May God bless the people of Mexico with safety and a speedy recovery. Up next, Chile is planning to ban plastic bags in coastal cities. We'll sit in the yard for a while and get some fresh air. Be right back. More responsible news when we return on Supreme Master Television. It's frustrating. Sad. There you are in the supermarket, and they just walk by. Like they don't even know. Don't know what, Mr. Banana? What we do. How we can help. I, I just can't take it. Doctors know that a vegetarian diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can help prevent certain cancers, obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. How can they even sell hamburgers? Now, now. I'm glad I said it. Brought to you by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. I, I feel better. the porcupine and I live naturally on a plant-based diet. Here's an easy and budget-friendly tip on how to waterproof your canvas shoes. Simply rub an unscented white candle over the canvas surface of your shoes and then use a hair dryer to melt the wax into your shoes. And there you have it. Be it rain or snow, you'll now have a pair of comfy sneakers to keep your feet warm and dry. Love you so much for being veg and going green to save the planet for all co-inhabitants. Thanks for watching. And now, let's see the weather in some cities around the world.
Chile to ban plastic bags in all coastal cities. During the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, USA, Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announced a new bill to prohibit the use of plastic bags in all of the country's coastal cities within the next 12 months. Once the bill passes, businesses in these cities could face a penalty of $300 U.S. if found using or distributing plastic bags. President Bachelet said, This means we will be the first country in the Americas to implement this kind of law, and we urge other countries to take on this responsibility. President Bachelet also proposed government-organized beach cleanups during popular vacation times. A big green thank you, Your Excellency Michelle Bachelet and Chile, for your earth-loving measures. We wish you much success in restoring a pristine environment for the benefit of all citizens and animal co-inhabitants. Dubai stages test flight of driverless flying taxis. In a bid to become the world's first city to offer a drone taxi service, Dubai successfully launched the Air Taxi prototype in a ceremony inaugurated by the Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The flying vehicle, developed by the German-based company Volocopter, resembles a two-seated helicopter with 18 propellers, operates using vertical takeoff and landing, and includes safety measures of backup batteries, spare rotors, and even parachutes. The craft will be able to fly for 30 minutes at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour. Passengers would be able to book the taxi via an app that would track the nearest one available. The taxi would then autonomously collect and take the individuals to their destination. It's breathtakingly awesome, Volocopter, and congratulations, Dubai, for being a leader in innovation, showcasing the future possibilities of urban transportation. May your ideas inspire creative advances in environmentally friendly technology for a greener world. Ahead on Noteworthy News, United Kingdom Library gathering poems from rare languages. We'll go for a quick bicycle ride around the park. We'll return with more righteous news in just a moment. boy like you doing trying to catch me for you shouldn't eat your animal friends sonny imagine if i'm gone who will take care of my family my wife and four kids don't harm us we are friends oh he's adopted <laughs> and you sonny you should adopt a healthier way of living yes you should Look. Now go back home and be good, Sonny. I felt so good ever since I became vegetarian. Oh yeah! <laughs>
For more urgent details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash b dash veg. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, caring news for a love-filled world. South African shelter connects homeless individuals with loved ones and family. The Haven Night Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa, creates opportunities for those living on the streets by reconnecting them with their family and society. Since 1978, the non-profit organization has helped many homeless men and women improve their lives by providing temporary shelter and physical care. Essential services to support social well-being and family reunification are also made available. For example, the shelter staff works to locate the individual's family, make travel arrangements, see them to the bus or train station, and ensure they arrive safely. As part of encouraging people to take on responsibility, the organization requests all unemployed members to pay 12 South African rand, approximately 90 US cents per day for the services, or help out at the shelter to earn their stay. Our accolades, Haven Night Shelter, for extending your warm helping hand to our South African brethren in need. May God bless all people with secure, joyful, and fulfilling lives. United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. The UK's National Poetry Library initiated a project of gathering poems in the thousands of languages that are at risk of disappearing. The language preservation endeavour is relying on the global community to send poetry in as many languages as possible with the intention of maintaining poetic traditions for the future generations. The project has been conducted with researchers from London's SOAS University, School of Oriental and African Studies, with the goal of receiving at least one poem in each language. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has estimated that more than half of the 7,000 languages of the world are on the verge of disappearing. Iraqi poet Nanib Lamassu, who was helping to collect and safeguard the poetry of Iraqi Assyrian refugees, said, Imagine walking into a botanical garden and seeing just one flower. This is what makes the world beautiful, this diversity in language and culture and religion. Our thankfulness, the National Poetry Library and SOAS University researchers, for your dedication to preserving the richness of languages. May we all live in appreciation of the wondrous world around us. Now let's listen to a joke entitled Train Schedule. Said to a railroad engineer, What's the use of having a train schedule if the trains are always late? The reply from the railroad engineer, How would we know they were late if we didn't have a schedule? <laughs> we sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Noteworthy News. May celestial love and wisdom be your faithful guides. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world, for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN.
Spread the word. Today's uplifting literature will be presented in German with subtitles in Arabic, Alaksis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Indonesian, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Spanish and Thai. Seien Sie gegrüßt, erhabene Zuschauer. Ich bin Marianne aus dem farbenfrohen München im umweltfreundlichen und innovativen Deutschland. Willkommen zu Erhebende Literatur. Heute laden wir Sie ein, die Welt der Bäume zu erkunden, von der wir vorher kaum etwas wussten und die Sie überraschen mag. Jahrhundertelang hatte die Mehrheit der Menschen den Eindruck, dass Bäume leise und ruhig gewesen sind. Nur in literarischen Werken oder in Märchen werden Bäume vielleicht vermenschlicht und sprechen miteinander oder mit anderen Spezies. Aber der deutsche Förster Peter Wohleben hat da eine ganz andere Betrachtungsweise. In seinem Buch Bestseller »Das geheime Leben der Bäume – Was sie fühlen, wie sie kommunizieren, die Entdeckung einer verborgenen Welt« erzählt er uns, dass Bäume soziale Netzwerke haben, Töne abgeben, Gefühle haben und die Fähigkeit zu zählen, zu lernen und sich zu erinnern. In einem Interview in der norwegisch-schwedischen Fernsehtalkshow Skavlan erklärte Herr Peter Wohleben, Bäume sind soziale Wesen, sie haben sogar Familien. Bäume sind sehr sozial untereinander, innerhalb derselben Spezies. Sie haben Freunde und leben als Paare oder als Eltern und Kinder zusammen. Als Förster hat Herr Wohlleben seit Jahrzehnten die direkte Gelegenheit, Bäume zu beobachten und an vorderster Front mit ihnen zu arbeiten. Er verwaltet jetzt einen Birkenwald im Auftrag der Gemeinde Hümmel, Deutschland. Aber in seinen jüngeren Jahren war er als staatlicher Förster in der Eifelregion zuständig für ein Waldstück von 3000 Morgen. Er ließ damals alte Bäume fällen und besprühte Baumstämme mit Insektiziden. Er fand bald heraus, dass es nicht richtig war, mit dem Wald so umzugehen und fing an, alternative Vorgehensweisen für die Forstwirtschaft zu erkunden. Er fand heraus, dass Bäume in der Natur wie Gemeinschaftswesen zusammenleben. Sie arbeiten in Netzwerken und teilen sich Ressourcen. In einem Wald knüpfen Bäume derselben Art ein unterirdisches Netzwerk mit ihren Wurzeln und den Pilzen um sie herum. Er nannte es Waldweites Web. Durch das Netzwerk können sie aufeinander achten, können etwa kranke Nachbarn pflegen und einander vor Gefahren warnen, indem sie elektrische Signale aussenden. Er fand sogar den alten Baumstumpf, eines vor langer Zeit etwa 400 oder 500 Jahre gefällten Baumgefährten, der noch lebte, weil er von seinen Nachbarbäumen, die ihm eine Zuckerlösung gaben, mittels des Wurzelnetzes am Leben erhalten wurde. Herr Wohleben kommentierte, Als Förster hat man mir beigebracht, dass Bäume Konkurrenten sind, gegeneinander kämpfen, um Licht, um Raum. Und da habe ich gesehen, dass es gerade umgekehrt ist. Bäume sind sehr daran interessiert, jedes Mitglied der Gemeinschaft am Leben zu erhalten. Laut Herrn Wohllebens Beschreibung im Buch führen Bäume gehirnähnliche Aktivitäten durch. Sie können zählen, lernen und sich erinnern. Sie haben Gefühle, ein Gedächtnis und sogar unterschiedliche Charaktere. Sie empfinden Einsamkeit, sprechen miteinander und schreien vor Schmerz. Sie haben Freunde und manche agieren auch als Eltern und als gute Gesellschafter, andere verhalten sich vielleicht tough mit rivalisierenden Arten 
um ihre Widerstandskraft zu erhöhen. Herr Wohlleben hat versucht, wissenschaftliche Ergebnisse und eigene Beobachtungen in sehr vermenschlichenden Begriffen zu präsentieren. Er lädt die Leser dazu ein, sich vorzustellen, was ein Baum wohl fühlen mag. Er sagt, ich verwende eine sehr menschliche Sprache. Eine wissenschaftliche Sprache beseitigt alle Gefühle und die Menschen verstehen sie nicht mehr. Wenn ich sage, Bäume stillen ihre Kinder, versteht jeder sofort, was ich meine. Während eines internationalen Seminars im März 2012 betonte die höchste Meisterin Ching Hai ebenfalls die Notwendigkeit, mehr Mitgefühl mit Bäumen zu haben und uns mehr bewusst zu machen, wie unsere Handlungen die Gefühle der Pflanzen beeinflussen könnten. Just feel so painful to, to know that they have pain, you know. Suppose, you know, the trees, because they cannot scream out, that is the worst thing. Just like you, you are tight, you know, or you are uh, make uh, immobile, but then somebody just keep beating you or cutting you and you can't do anything. This is terrible. Understand this? We can run, we can kind of struggle and we can scream, but the trees cannot, the plants cannot. Bäume sind nicht die einzigen Pflanzen, die diese tierähnlichen Eigenschaften besitzen. Eine Menge anderer Pflanzenspezies haben bewiesen, dass sie ähnliche Fähigkeiten haben. Gehen wir zurück ins Jahr 1973. Damals präsentierte ein anderer Bestseller mit dem Titel »Das geheime Leben der Pflanzen«, geschrieben von Peter Tompkins und Christopher Bird, die gehirnähnliche Aktivierung der Pflanzen. Dieses populäre Sachbuch basierte auf den Ergebnissen von Experimenten, die von Cleve Baxter, einem früheren Lügendetektor-Experten der CIA, durchgeführt wurden. Herr Baxter schloss ein Galvanometer an das Blatt eines Drachenbaums in seinem Büro an. Er war überrascht über die Diagramme, die durch die Reaktion des Drachenbaums erzeugt wurden, als er Experimente mit ihm durchführte. Er stellte sich einfach vor, dass der Drachenbaum angezündet werden sollte. Sofort erzeugte die Maschine einen elektrischen Impuls, was darauf hinwies, dass die Pflanze Stress empfand. Nachdem er die Lügendetektoren an Dutzende andere Pflanzen angeschlossen hatte, unter anderem Kopfsalat, Zwiebeln, Orangen und Bananen, erkannte er, dass sie auf die guten oder schlechten Gedanken der Menschen in unmittelbarer Nähe reagierten. Außerdem reagierten sie auf die Gedanken ihrer vertrauten Menschen, selbst aus großer Entfernung. Bei einem Experiment ließ er eine Pflanze mit ansehen, wie ein Mensch eine andere Pflanze verletzte, indem er auf ihr herumtrampelte. Die Pflanze, die Zeugin dieser Tat war, konnte den Übeltäter aus einer Reihe von sechs Verdächtigen herausfinden. Es wurde eine ansteigende elektrische Aktivität registriert, wenn dieser Mensch vor die Pflanze gebracht wurde. Manche Pflanzen zeigten eine starke Abneigung gegen artübergreifende Gewalt, manche hatten sogar eine Stressreaktion, wenn in ihrer Anwesenheit ein Ei aufgeschlagen wurde. Baxter veröffentlichte die Arbeit über sein Experiment im Wissenschaftsjournal The International Journal of Parapsychology im Jahr 1968. Bei einem internationalen Seminar im Jahr 2012 sprach die höchste Meisterin Ching Hai auch über die Qual, die Obst und Gemüse empfindet, wenn es geschnitten oder gepflückt wird. For example, there are many fruits that when they pluck it, the way they pluck it, it hurts the tree. Feel like you're nipping them. Or sometimes even like chop their fingers, stuff, you know, it's painful. And the thing is more painful because they cannot scream. Imagine if you are mute, you cannot scream, or you are paralyzed and somebody keeps nipping you, or you know what I mean? Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, my list is not like 100% complete, but uh, you can live by it, okay? And uh, for example, even rice are less favorable than wheat. Wheat's grain, you know, they make bread, yes. Because uh, when they cut the rice, most of the rice, uh, the plant is still green. If they're yellow and wither already, then it's okay. 
But mostly the wheat, the harvest it when it's, it's already dry and brown, right? The, the plant already dead when they cut it. So the plant doesn't feel pain. Yeah, but the rice plant do feel pain. Uh, it's something funny also, <laughs> very strange, amazing things like bamboo. The bamboo tree, when you cut it, then it feels pain. But the bamboo shoot, the young one, little one, doesn't. <laughs> and, uh, for example, like the Chinese cabbage, they call it bok choy. When they harvest it, don't feel pain. But the Western cabbage does. Cauliflower does. Uh, broccoli does, for example, like that. Mm-hmm. And like the, the lectures feel conscious, but the the other lectures, the Roman lectures doesn't. Yeah, so it is not like generalized. You should not eat all the plants because they feel hurt. It's not like that. Yeah, I was amazed too. gehen in den Wald, um die Bäume zu umarmen und uns auf den zweiten Teil unserer Sendung vorzubereiten. Bitte bleiben Sie dran bei Supreme Master Television. Wir sind gleich zurück. phải mang số thứ tự 1 2 3 4 giống như những cầu thủ đá banh. Lý do vì nhà vua hút sách xì ke và rượu thịt ly bì cho nên trí nhớ lu mờ, không còn nhớ nổi tên quý vị chiều qua. xanh thì chấm ok liền còn ăn chay thì thì để nghĩ lại chấm ok the king and company now available. Willkommen zurück zu Erhebende Literatur. Wir machen weiter mit unserem Beitrag über das geheime Leben der Bäume, was sie fühlen, wie sie kommunizieren, die Entdeckung einer verborgenen Welt. Wie in diesem Buch vermittelt wird, hat Herr Wohlleben einige erstaunliche Erkenntnisse über die großartigen Bäume, ihr aktives Sozialleben, ihre Gefühle und ihre Fürsorglichkeit gesammelt. Wissenschaftler haben auch herausgefunden, dass auch andere Pflanzen die Fähigkeit haben, sich miteinander zu unterhalten und erhärten so Herrn Wohllebens Feststellungen. 1983 demonstrierten zwei veröffentlichte Studien, dass Weidenbäume, Pappeln und Zuckerahorn einander vor potenziellen Gefahren warnen können. Sie wissen irgendwie, was ihre Nachbarn gerade erleben und reagieren darauf. Die aufschlussreiche Folgerung war, dass hirnlose Bäume Botschaften senden, empfangen und interpretieren konnten. Dr. Richard Carbon ist ein Umweltfachmann an der Universität Kalifornien, Davis, in den USA. 
mit mehr als 20 Jahren Forschung über die Kommunikation des Salbeistrauchs hatte eine positive Sichtweise bezüglich der kraftvollen Entwicklung der neurobiologischen Pflanzenforschung. Er bestätigte, dass Pflanzen die biochemischen Nachrichten der anderen empfinden können. Jetzt hoffen wir zu wissen, warum und wie sie es tun. Die meisten Studien fanden unter kontrollierten Laborbedingungen statt, aber wenn wir herausfinden könnten, in welchem Umfang Pflanzen diese Signale in der freien Natur verwenden, könnte uns die Antwort maßgebliche Erkenntnisse darüber geben, wie man harmonischer mit ihnen leben könnte. Landwirte könnten dieses Geplapper nachahmen und so Nahrungspflanzen oder landwirtschaftliche Praktiken optimieren, damit Feldfrüchte glücklich heranwachsen und sich selbst besser schützen können. Die weitergehende Erforschung der Informationsverarbeitung durch Pflanzen kann uns zu einem besseren Verständnis für Pflanzen und möglicherweise des Gehirns führen. Der italienische Neurobiologe Dr. Stefano Mancuso ist Direktor des Internationalen Labors für Pflanzenneurobiologie in der Nähe von Florenz, Italien, wo er mit seinem Team die Intelligenz von Pflanzen erforscht. Er wird als einer der leidenschaftlichsten Wortführer für die Sichtweise der Pflanzen angesehen und arbeitet unermüdlich daran, der Welt zu erklären, dass Pflanzen kluge Geschöpfe sind. Dr. Mancuso erklärt, dass das Empfindungsvermögen von Pflanzen wesentlich höher entwickelt ist als das von Tieren. Obwohl sich Pflanzen nicht wie Tiere auf ihr Gehirn verlassen und ihr Verhalten, da sie so still sind, weitgehend ignoriert wurde, verwenden sie zur Erfüllung ihrer Aufgaben zahlreiche Wurzeln, die oft in die Millionen gehen. Er vergleicht diesen Mechanismus mit dem Internet. Jede Wurzelspitze oder Apex arbeitet in einem Netzwerk mit allen anderen zusammen und selbst wenn eine Pflanze mehr als 90 Prozent ihres Wurzelsystems verliert, kann sie überleben und weiter kommunizieren. Das ist ein klarer Vorteil gegenüber den Tieren, die schnell sterben, wenn sie ihre Gehirnfunktion verlieren. Jede Wurzelspitze einer Pflanze kann gleichzeitig mindestens 15 verschiedene chemische und physische Parameter entdecken und überwachen. In der kleinen Region namens Übergangszone findet der höchste Sauerstoffverbrauch der Pflanze statt und dort werden die meisten Signale gefunden. Diese sind wie die Neuronen im menschlichen Hirn dafür da, Informationen auszutauschen. Dr. Mancusos Labor erstellt gerade ein Wörterbuch des gesamten chemischen Vokabulars jeder Art. Er schätzt, dass eine Pflanze 3000 Chemikalien in ihrem Vokabular hat, während ein durchschnittlicher Schüler, wenn wir das mit einem Menschen vergleichen, nur 700 Wörter benutzt. Dr. Mancuso hat einen Film über eine heranwachsende junge Bohne gedreht, die sich zum Licht hin bewegt. Sie sieht so anmutig aus wie ein tanzender Engel. Auch Pflanzen spielen gern. In Einklang mit diesen Erkenntnissen erklärt Herr Wohlleben, der Autor von Das verborgene Leben der Bäume, dass Bäume ihren eigenen Charakter haben. Wir halten Pflanzen für roboterhaft, glauben, dass sie einem genetischen Code folgen. Pflanzen und Bäume können immer entscheiden, was sie tun wollen. Bäume treffen Entscheidungen, haben ein Gedächtnis und sogar unterschiedliche Persönlichkeiten. Es gibt eventuell nettere, und schlechtere Typen. Bäume und Pflanzen, von denen viele uns noch unbekannt sind, machen mehr als 99 Prozent der Biomasse der Erde aus. Menschen und Tiere machen nur ein Prozent aus. Dennoch sind viele menschliche Aktivitäten wie Entwaldung und Umweltverschmutzung, die zum Klimawandel geführt haben, der Grund dafür, dass täglich viele Pflanzenarten verschwinden. Und doch sind es diese bemerkenswerten, fühlenden Wesen, die das Leben auf unserem Planeten ermöglichen, 
indem sie den Sauerstoff, den wir zum Atmen brauchen, zur Verfügung stellen und mithelfen, kostbaren Regen zu erzeugen. Zusätzlich zu ihrer ehrfurchtgebietenden Schönheit, mit der sie unsere Welt segnen. Herr Wohlleben hofft, ein Bewusstsein für das unglaubliche Wesen der Bäume schaffen zu können, damit den Menschen bewusster wird, wie ihre täglichen Entscheidungen andere Wesen beeinflussen könnten. Sein Buch, Das geheime Leben der Bäume, ist das erste einer dreiteiligen Serie, war 2015 ein Bestseller in Deutschland und wurde in über 15 Sprachen übersetzt. Weitere Infos über das geheime Leben der Bäume finden Sie auf www.intelligent-trees.com Wir sind dankbar für all die Segnungen der großherzigen Bäume und Pflanzen. Und wir danken Herrn Wohlleben und anderen Pflanzenliebhabern, die sich dafür engagieren, der Natur näher zu kommen und unsere Augen zu öffnen für die Wunder, die sie erschauen. Mitfühlende Zuschauer, vielen Dank für Ihre wunderbare Gesellschaft heute bei erhebender Literatur. Als nächstes kommt die Tierwelt, unsere Mitbewohner, schutzstreuender Tiere, eine noble Sache. Mögen alle Wesen in Frieden und Zufriedenheit wachsen und gedeihen. Compassionate viewers, thank you for your delightful company today on Uplifting Literature. Coming up next is Animal World, our co-inhabitants, protecting stray animals, a noble cause. May all beings thrive and flourish in peace and contentment. Weitere Einzelheiten finden Sie auf
Thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous earth. All of which house, nourish, and protect every being under their loving care without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home.
Greetings, friends. I'm Yasmin, representing my beckoning homeland of Kota Kinabalu. Marvelous Malaysia wants you to know that you are more valuable than any precious jewels. Tina Koto means greetings to you in Maldi. My name is Mana Aki, and I am one of the shining Maldi people from New Zealand. We send you our best wishes that all embrace their interconnectedness. Thank you for your company today on Noteworthy News, positive news for a benevolent world. Positive news for a charitable world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, China provides aid to Mexico after earthquake. Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announces bill to ban plastic bags. Flying taxis are coming to Dubai. Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa connects homeless individuals with loved ones. And United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. In the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association news from the United States. On August 26, 2017, the state of Texas in the United States was battered by Hurricane Harvey, the strongest hurricane in the last 13 years. The continuous storm triggered unprecedented flooding with major disaster declarations in 30 counties where more than 30,000 people had to seek shelter in stadiums, churches, schools and other buildings that were designated for people to stay safely. Approximately 100,000 homes were affected in Houston alone, and at least 39 people have lost their lives. Upon learning of the devastating situation, Supreme Master Ching Hai immediately provided a 21,000 US dollar fund and our Houston Association members following Master's instruction to render aid formed a relief team to help anyone we could. From August 29th to 31st, our association members collaborated with local Harris County officials and many other civilian groups to rescue residents who live northwest of Houston Harris County. Together, we helped rescue over 300 families and their animal companions in this area. For the displaced families in shelters, our association members prepared 1,000 vegan meals. keeping them safe and protected so they could help those in need. In the face of such a calamity, Houstonians and American citizens showed the spirit of unity, courage and love in action. May heaven bring comfort to all these afflicted victims. China donates US 8.5 million to help Mexico recover and rebuild after earthquake. In the aftermath of Mexico's 7.1 magnitude earthquake, the government of China has provided US 8.5 million in emergency humanitarian aid. This includes US 1 million in cash for rescue efforts and building reconstruction, while the remaining US 7.5 million goes towards emergency relief supplies, including tents and foldable beds. 
China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Liu Kang stated, China believes that the Mexican people can overcome the disaster and rebuild their lives. Our sincere gratitude, Chinese government, for your timely and caring assistance. May God bless the people of Mexico with safety and a speedy recovery. Up next, Chile is planning to ban plastic bags in coastal cities. We'll sit in the yard for a while and get some fresh air. Be right back. More responsible news when we return on Supreme Master Television. What if you lived in a home on an island you couldn't leave with limited amounts of food and safe drinking water? It would be very important to use only what you need. Well, it doesn't matter where your home is because we all live on an island we can't leave. friendly tip on how to waterproof your canvas shoes. Simply rub an unscented white candle over the canvas surface of your shoes and then use a hair dryer to melt the wax into your shoes. And there you have it. Be it rain or snow, you'll now have a pair of comfy sneakers to keep your feet warm and dry. Love you so much for being veg and going green to save the planet for all co-inhabitants. Thanks for watching. And now, let's see the weather in some cities around the world. Chile to ban plastic bags in all coastal cities. During the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, USA, Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announced a new bill to prohibit the use of plastic bags in all of the country's coastal cities within the next 12 months. Once the bill passes, businesses in these cities could face a penalty of 300 US dollars if found using or distributing plastic bags. President Bachelet said, This means we will be the first country in the Americas to implement this kind of law, and we urge other countries to take on this responsibility. President Bachelet also proposed government-organized beach cleanups during popular vacation times. A big green thank you 
Your Excellency Michelle Bachelet and Chile for your earth-loving measures. We wish you much success in restoring a pristine environment for the benefit of all citizens and animal co-inhabitants. Dubai stages test flight of driverless flying taxis. In a bid to become the world's first city to offer a drone taxi service, Dubai successfully launched the Air Taxi prototype in a ceremony inaugurated by the Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The flying vehicle, developed by the German-based company Volocopter, resembles a two-seated helicopter with 18 propellers, operates using vertical takeoff and landing, and includes safety measures of backup batteries, spare rotors, and even parachutes. The craft will be able to fly for 30 minutes at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour. Passengers would be able to book the taxi via an app that would track the nearest one available. The taxi would then autonomously collect and take the individuals to their destination. It's breathtakingly awesome, Volocopter, and congratulations, Dubai, for being a leader in innovation, showcasing the future possibilities of urban transportation. May your ideas inspire creative advances in environmentally friendly technology for a greener world. Ahead on Noteworthy News, the United Kingdom Library gathering poems from rare languages. We'll go for a quick bicycle ride around the park. We'll return with more righteous news in just a moment. Is everybody here? Where's the birthday girl? What's wrong, honey? Isn't that Mr. Chicken from our backyard? Darling, that's just a vegetarian chicken on the table.
Welcome back to Noteworthy News, caring news for a love-filled world. South African shelter connects homeless individuals with loved ones and family. The Haven Night Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa, creates opportunities for those living on the streets by reconnecting them with their family and society. Since 1978, the non-profit organization has helped many homeless men and women improve their lives by providing temporary shelter and physical care. Essential services to support social well-being and family reunification are also made available. For example, the shelter staff works to locate the individual's family, make travel arrangements, see them to the bus or train station, and ensure they arrive safely. As part of encouraging people to take on responsibility, the organization requests all unemployed members to pay 12 South African rand, approximately 90 US cents per day for the services, or help out at the shelter to earn their stay. Our accolades, Haven Night Shelter, for extending your warm helping hand to our South African brethren in need. May God bless all people with secure, joyful, and fulfilling lives. United Kingdom Poetry Project Preserves Endangered Languages The UK's National Poetry Library initiated a project of gathering poems in the thousands of languages that are at risk of disappearing. The language preservation endeavour is relying on the global community to send poetry in as many languages as possible with the intention of maintaining poetic traditions for the future generations. The project has been conducted with researchers from London's SOAS University, School of Oriental and African Studies, with the goal of receiving at least one poem in each language. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has estimated that more than half of the 7,000 languages of the world are on the verge of disappearing. Iraqi poet Nanib Lamassu, who was helping to collect and safeguard the poetry of Iraqi Assyrian refugees, said, Imagine walking into a botanical garden and seeing just one flower. This is what makes the world beautiful, this diversity in language and culture and religion. Our thankfulness, the National Poetry Library and SOAS University researchers for your dedication to preserving the richness of languages. May we all live in appreciation of the wondrous world around us. Now let's listen to a joke entitled Train Schedule. Said to a railroad engineer, What's the use of having a train schedule if the trains are always late? The reply from the railroad engineer, How would we know they were late if we didn't have a schedule? <laughs> we sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Noteworthy News. May celestial love and wisdom be your faithful guides. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world, for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. How much money would we save if the world becomes vegan? We're now at the point that um, science has more and better numbers on the effects of uh, changing the diet and eating less meat. A study by the Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency found that global dietary change would reduce the cost of mitigating global warming. The cost to lower atmospheric greenhouse gas levels. 40 trillion US dollars by 2050. A global shift to a low meat diet could save 50% of total mitigation cost. A global shift to a meat-free diet could save 70% of total cost. A global shift to an animal-free vegan diet would save climate mitigation costs by more than 80%.
that's a substantial cost reduction in getting to the uh, same climate targets. Not only governments, but individuals save too. It's much cheaper than buying uh, photovoltaic cells on your house or buying a hybrid car. It's a very easy way to change your uh, buying behavior and uh, have a, a fantastic uh, quality of your meal. We still have a chance to halt global warming and should be optimistic. We don't have much time, but we still have time. We meanwhile do our best by adopting the quickest and the most efficient measure to reverse climate change. We must change to a vegan diet ourselves so that we become a part of the solution. To help the government to change, uh, we can write letters explaining how a vegan diet is a solution for the planetary crisis. It's the most practical way to prevent future calamities due to global warming. Because the plant-based lifestyle is more sustainable and opens up land, it restores the balance of our ocean and forest and preserves our finite natural resources. This is truly the best way to restore our environment and ensure the highest degree of peace. Such a simple solution. Be in veg, that's it. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more urgent details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash SOS. years. One unspayed female cat, her mate, and their family can breed over 11.5 million cats in nine years. Travel to nearly any country in the world and you are likely to see the sad sight of homeless dogs and cats searching for food, shelter, and companionship. In Europe, there are over 100 million strays and in the United States, 70 million. Globally, there are 600 million homeless dogs and cats on the streets. I feel very, very lucky. I have a loving human family that takes care of me. I was once homeless in another European country when fortunately my family adopted me before moving back to home in England. This episode we examine compassionate efforts by my human friends across the globe to reduce stray dogs and cat populations and discuss the ways we can be a proactive animal advocate. Many countries and non-governmental organizations have programs that specifically address the issue of unsheltered cats and dogs. The Netherlands, for instance, is the first country in the world to have a political party that strives to uphold animal rights and ensure animal well-being. Marvellous! Her Excellency Mariana Tima, a 45-year-old lawyer, along with others, founded the Dutch Party for the Animals in November 2002. In 2006, she and her fellow party member, Her Excellency Esther Oaha.
their sister party in Spain, PACMA, held a conference in Madrid, Spain, that brought together stakeholders from 20 countries to address the global issue of stray dogs. A March 2012 report by Dog Research titled How Holland Became Free of Stray Dogs states Dutch culture is partially the reason for this miracle as it is a society where people look for common ground. Work and private life are separated and caring and collectiveness are valued. animals and their well-being. Just looking at them, they do seem to be the kind type. Up to 50% of the dogs in shelters will find a new loving home through the internet. Dog research recommends that other nations wishing to address the homeless dog issue should use a collect, neuter, vaccinate and return or CNVR strategy. The method involves collecting dogs with or without homes, neutering and vaccinating us and finally returning us to across the globe, active in animal welfare improvement efforts and help
support of local authorities, Four Paws is successfully running programs in Romania and Bulgaria to catch stray dogs and cats, neuter or spay them, then release them back to where initially found. Other countries such as India, Egypt, Jordan, Croatia and Sri Lanka have benefited from Four Paws program. In places without facilities for medical treatment, Four Paws mobile clinics can step in to serve animals in need. Tierheim Berlin or the Berlin Animal House in Berlin, Germany is the largest animal sanctuary in Europe. It is here that the animals can peacefully spend the rest of their lives in the event they are not eventually adopted. Tierheim Berlin is equipped to take in nearly 2,000 animals at any given time, ranging in size from very small animals to horses. The sanctuary's facilities and grounds are modern, beautiful and very spacious, overall the size of 22 football fields, ginormous. Germany's animal welfare laws are progressive, as is German society's attitude towards animals. There are about 1,000 privately run Tierheim animal houses in Germany, and like Tierheim Berlin, are well equipped, have a permanent staff, including veterinarians and nurses.
of an initiative that has led to positive animal welfare outcomes. The entity is actively educating the Australian public about the benefits of neutering to improve the well-being of cats and dogs. In areas where the G2Z model have been implemented, animals can be brought to a community vet clinic for neutering microchipping services, as well as medical treatment. G2Z says that in parts of Australia, euthanasia rates have been reduced by more than half because of their efforts. Splendid! leader in the no-kill movement since 1944, the North Shore Animal League America in the US says it is the world's largest no-kill animal rescue and adoption organization, having saved over one million animals' lives. North Shore conducts emergency and puppy mill rescues on a local, national and international level. The entity performed 85,000 exams and vaccinated 65,000 animal friends in one year alone. North Shore's Spay USA unit helps Americans find inexpensive spay and neuter services across the nation through 1,500 neutering programs and clinics with 5,000 veterinarians in the
courses and children's education programs focusing on animals. Hi, I am Cesar Milan and I support April 4, World Stray Animals Day. April 4, the day to show compassion, care and act for stray animals all around the world. Caesar has written the following on why this day is so important to him. But you see, in many ways, I was a stray. I came to America. I had practically nothing. I didn't know when I was going to eat. I didn't know where I was going to sleep. I didn't know what was going to happen to me. I knew I was good inside, but I was here in a strange place, away from the family who loved me, and I didn't speak English and couldn't talk to the people around me. It's a scary thing to sleep on the streets and not know what the future is going to bring. I think many people look at stray animals and see them as a nuisance. But these are actual living, feeling beings that lead incredibly brutal and painful lives. And it's largely because of things that we humans have done. I needed help. I'm sure each of you has needed help at some time. We all need help. And these animals most definitely need our help. Organizers of the day say all humans can be part of the solution by adopting Local no kill animal shelter exposure on TV or in the newspaper, collecting needed items to support a shelter, and raising community awareness of World Stray Animals Day through leafleting, postering, and other activities. Now, what if you discover an unsheltered dog? I say first, give him or her a smile. Caesar Milan also has some excellent advice in his online blog. The safety of yourself and others. If she is approachable and friendly and has no identification tags indicating her caregiver's contact information, entice her to come to your car. Take her to a local no-kill shelter or home with you. Remember, a no-kill shelter or veterinarian can scan her for an embedded microchip that will have identification information and many shelters will take a photo in case her caregiver comes there searching for her. Today we've seen how cat and dog homelessness is a serious issue worldwide. Profiled entities working to better animal welfare and discuss some of the things caring humans like you can do to improve the situation. Please do always show kindness to the unsheltered canines and felines that selflessly bless our world.
Thế mà vậy à A king and his royal court of corrupt and virtuous mandarins. Ta nghe nói ôm nhau thì mới hợp thời trang. Có eo mà mới có eo nè. <cười> a noble prince on a journey to rediscover his original nature. A village beauty selling banana pudding. Written and directed via remote control by Supreme Master Ching Hai, the new drama *The King and Company* is an original tale that promises suspenseful adventure, sweet romance, surprise plots, clever humor, and deep spirituality. All the while informing audiences of the four killers: meat, addictive drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. On DVD at www.thecelestialshop.com, EdenRules.com, and SMCHBooks.com. Thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world, for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Ever wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous Earth, all of which house, nourish, and protect every being under their loving care, without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home. Greetings, friends. I'm Yasmin, representing my beckoning homeland of Kota Kinabalu. Marvelous Malaysia wants you to know that you are more valuable than any precious jewels. Tina Koto means greetings to you in Maldi. My name is Mana Aki. And I am one of the shining Maori people from New Zealand. We send you our best wishes that all embrace their interconnectedness. Thank you for your company today on Noteworthy News, positive news for a benevolent world. Positive news for a charitable world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, China provides aid to Mexico after earthquake. Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announces bill to ban plastic bags. Flying taxis are coming to Dubai. 
Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa connects homeless individuals with loved ones and United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. In the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association News from the United States. On August 26, 2017, the state of Texas in the United States was battered by Hurricane Harvey, the strongest hurricane in the last 13 years. The continuous storm triggered unprecedented flooding with major disaster declarations in 30 counties where more than 30,000 people had to seek shelter in stadiums, churches, schools and other buildings that were designated for people to stay safely. Approximately 100,000 homes were affected in Houston alone and at least 39 people have lost their lives. Upon learning of the devastating situation, Supreme Master Ching Hai immediately provided a 21,000 US dollar fund and our Houston Association members, following Master's instruction to render aid, formed a relief team to help anyone we could. From August 29th to 31st, our association members collaborated with local Harris County officials and many other civilian groups to rescue residents who live northwest of Houston, Harris County. Together, we helped rescue over 300 families and their animal companions in this area. For the displaced families in shelters, our association members prepared 1,000 vegan meals. keeping them safe and protected so they could help those in need. In the face of such a calamity, Houstonians and American citizens showed the spirit of unity, courage and love in action. May heaven bring comfort to all these afflicted victims. China donates US 8.5 million to help Mexico recover and rebuild after earthquake. In the aftermath of Mexico's 7.1 magnitude earthquake, the government of China has provided US 8.5 million in emergency humanitarian aid. This includes US 1 million in cash for rescue efforts and building reconstruction, while the remaining US 7.5 million goes towards emergency relief supplies, including tents and foldable beds. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Liu Kang stated, China believes that the Mexican people can overcome the disaster and rebuild their lives. Our sincere gratitude, Chinese government, for your timely and caring assistance. May God bless the people of Mexico with safety and a speedy recovery. Up next, Chile is planning to ban plastic bags in coastal cities. We'll sit in the yard for a while and get some fresh air. Be right back. More responsible news when we return on Supreme Master Television. The Earth can satisfy our needs, but not satisfy our greed. So please, use only what you need. It's not like we can go shopping somewhere else. friendly tip on how to waterproof your canvas shoes. Simply rub an unscented white candle over the canvas surface of your shoes and then use a hair dryer to melt the wax into your shoes. And there you have it, be it rain or snow, you'll now have a pair of comfy sneakers to keep your feet warm and dry. 
love you so much for being veg and going green to save the planet for all co-inhabitants. Thanks for watching. And now, let's see the weather in some cities around the world. Chile to ban plastic bags in all coastal cities. During the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, USA, Chilean President Michelle Bachelet announced a new bill to prohibit the use of plastic bags in all of the country's coastal cities within the next 12 months. Once the bill passes, businesses in these cities could face a penalty of 300 US dollars if found using or distributing plastic bags. President Bachelet said, This means we will be the first country in the Americas to implement this kind of law, and we urge other countries to take on this responsibility. President Bachelet also proposed government-organized beach cleanups during popular vacation times. A big green thank you, Your Excellency Michelle Bachelet and Chile, for your earth-loving measures. We wish you much success in restoring a pristine environment for the benefit of all citizens and animal co-inhabitants. Dubai stages test flight of driverless flying taxis. In a bid to become the world's first city to offer a drone taxi service, Dubai successfully launched the Air Taxi prototype in a ceremony inaugurated by the Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The flying vehicle, developed by the German-based company Volocopter, resembles a two-seated helicopter with 18 propellers, operates using vertical takeoff and landing, and includes safety measures of backup batteries, spare rotors, and even parachutes. The craft will be able to fly for 30 minutes at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour. Passengers would be able to book the taxi via an app that would track the nearest one available. The taxi would then autonomously collect and take the individuals to their destination. It's breathtakingly awesome, Volocopter, and congratulations, Dubai, for being a leader in innovation, showcasing the future possibilities of urban transportation. May your ideas inspire creative advances in environmentally friendly technology for a greener world. Ahead on Noteworthy News. United Kingdom Library gathering poems from rare languages. We'll go for a quick bicycle ride around the park. We'll return with more righteous news in just a moment.
the middle way. Right, wrong, yin, yang, black, white. The middle way. The pendulum's swing returns to calm. The scale's arm settles into its balance. Wisdom emanates by its own perfection. A stable radiance shines henceforth. From original nature come the celestial harmonies. Inner and outer journeys finally become steady. The middle way. Master says, since we don't want to have anything to do with either the positive or negative side, we have to transcend both and become friends with both. In this way, they won't bother us anymore. We have to go beyond the struggle between good and bad, and positive and negative. Right now, we're still steeped in the war between positive and negative, but we need to become neutral, just as Switzerland is a neutral country. We have to arm ourselves with the power of God. As long as we're living in this world, we should remain positive, do good deeds, and avoid the negative as much as possible. We need not fight against it, but should avoid getting involved with it. As spiritual practitioners, we should behave like good worldly citizens, performing good actions, being righteous, and avoiding involvement in other people's affairs. Imbalances of yin and yang cause numerous disasters. And misfortunes, and create obstacles in our spiritual practice. As long as we call upon the inner master power to protect us, we can not only survive in this world, but also continue to be elevated spiritually. In the war of the positive and negative, we can return to God's kingdom smoothly and safely, only by following the middle way.
Welcome back to Noteworthy News, caring news for a love-filled world. South African shelter connects homeless individuals with loved ones and family. The Haven Night Shelter in Cape Town, South Africa, creates opportunities for those living on the streets by reconnecting them with their family and society. Since 1978, the non-profit organization has helped many homeless men and women improve their lives by providing temporary shelter and physical care. Essential services to support social well-being and family reunification are also made available. For example, the shelter staff works to locate the individual's family, make travel arrangements, see them to the bus or train station, and ensure they arrive safely. As part of encouraging people to take on responsibility. The organization requests all unemployed members to pay 12 South African rand, approximately 90 U.S. cents per day, for the services, or help out at the shelter to earn their stay. Our accolades, Haven Night Shelter, for extending your warm helping hand to our South African brethren in need. May God bless all people with secure, joyful, and fulfilling lives. United Kingdom Poetry Project preserves endangered languages. The UK's National Poetry Library initiated a project of gathering poems in the thousands of languages that are at risk of disappearing. The language preservation endeavour is relying on the global community to send poetry in as many languages as possible, with the intention of maintaining poetic traditions for the future generations. The project has been conducted with researchers from London's SOAS University School of Oriental and African Studies, with the goal of receiving at least one poem in each language. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization (UNESCO) has estimated that more than half of the 7,000 languages of the world are on the verge of disappearing. Iraqi poet Nanib Lamassu, who was helping to collect and safeguard the poetry of Iraqi Assyrian refugees, said. Imagine walking into a botanical garden and seeing just one flower. This is what makes the world beautiful: this diversity in language and culture and religion. Our thankfulness, the National Poetry Library and SOAS University researchers, for your dedication to preserving the richness of languages. May we all live in appreciation of the wondrous world around us. Now let's listen to a joke entitled "Train Schedule." Said to a railroad engineer, "What's the use of having a train schedule if the trains are always late?" The reply from the railroad engineer: "How would we know they were late if we didn't have a schedule?" <laughs> We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on noteworthy news. May celestial love and wisdom be your faithful guides. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals. Thus, uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com/nwn. Be veg, go green to save the planet. This is Yogi Cameron. For Supreme Master Television. This is a network that's on its own, and she she's grasped the media of our time, and she's putting it forth with great messages of importance. And you can tell that it's real, that it comes from a place of great integrity.、Uh, it's an extremely mature and visionary one. Hi, this is Patrick Kilpatrick, and you're watching Supreme Master TV. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Hi, you're watching Supreme Master Television, and my name is Thomas Ian Nicholas. Hi, I'm Kashi. You're watching Supreme Master Television, broadcast around the world. Be veg, go green to save the planet. And keep up the good work. We love you, and we appreciate what you do for us. Thank you. 
Peyton List. I'm from the movie Remember Me. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Supreme Master Television is incredible. It's warm, it's human, it's loving, and it's vegan. What else can you ask for in life? Hi, I'm Donna Lewis, and most of you will probably remember my song, I Love You Always Forever, and you're watching Supreme Master Television. Hi, I'm Shannon Keith. I'm the director and producer of the new documentary, Skin Trade, about the fur industry. Be veg, go green, to save the planet. Hi, my name's Brandi Williams, and thank you so much for all that you do, and especially for all that you do for the animals. Do you love your family? Love animals. They're our family.